here with Elizabeth Jacob and Jacobson and Aaliyah Humphrey of Underwood Girls Basketball. Ladies, uh, pretty dominant performance there over Kemper, 64-43, the final score. Uh, start with you, Elizabeth. Uh, just kind of give me your overall thoughts on that game. Um, I thought we played really well. We had great energy. If we were kind of, we felt a little behind or weren't getting shots up, we were quick to just keep it going. Yeah, like she said, uh, we had a, we haven't seen Kim for, for a, we haven't played him at all for a really long time, actually. So we didn't really know what to expect, but we watched a lot of film and just ran our scouting report, basically, and everything worked out for us. I think the story of the game was probably that third quarter. Uh, it was tight through the whole first half, but you guys came out in the third quarter and just dominated. What went into that? What changed at halftime? Um, we just knew kind of what they were going to run and like what they were going to do against us on defense. So we had a pretty good idea what to expect unless they had changed it up. So we were just able to flow off of that and kind of do something before they could. Yeah, like she said, um, coming out of halftime, the coaches told us like those first few minutes of the third quarter is going to dictate the rest of the game, and we came out really strong, and we stuck with it the rest of the third and fourth quarter, so I think that's ultimately how we got our win tonight. Elizabeth, you ended up as the, the game's leading scorer with 28 points. Just talk about your, your personal performance. What were you seeing out there? How were you able to, to get to the rack so much? Um, well, I'm used to being double teamed, so if they weren't really double teaming me, it was a lot easier for me to just get in front or behind my um, like defender so I could go up and just have them on my back. It was a lot easier to get shots out. Aliyah, kind of felt like you were all over the floor, uh, scoring from outside, scoring inside, getting steals. Just talk about your own performance. So what was uh, working for you tonight? Yeah, um, I think they were face guarding me, so my shot, outside shot wasn't really there, but I was just trying to beat my defender to the basket. I was looking for um, our posts a lot, trying to get feed them the ball because they were doing really well down low. Um, on defense, that's kind of something I prioritize. Um, so I was just trying to read, our, uh, read their offense, and that's how I got my seals. Talk a little bit more about that, the chemistry between you and Elizabeth here. It really felt like it was uh, at its peak tonight. Yeah. Um, we really do a really good job clicking. Um, I'm always looking for her. She's always looking for me. Um, we kind of have each other's backs. Um, the whole team does, but I think we really click together. And what I just, she does an awesome job sealing, and I see that, and I just keep feeding her. You guys are moving on now. Uh, you'll get Pocahontas area next week uh, in the regional final. Just talk about, you know, kind of your overall thoughts on on your mentality right now as you guys move on, and and you're you know one win away from the state tournament. Um, we're excited, but we just know we have to get in the gym and work even harder for that next game. Yep, one game at a time. We don't know much on them, but we'll get their scouting report and just treat it like any other game. All right, ladies, congrats. Thanks for the time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Here with Andy Van Fossen, head coach of Underwood Girls Basketball. Coach, pretty dominant win over at Kemper there, a 64-43 uh, victory. Just give me your overall thoughts on that game. Um, I thought we played well uh, in spurts. I thought we, we had a really good second half. Um, I think it was 33-30 at half. Uh, and we were able to uh, to do some some of the things that we've been we've been talking about actually all year. We were able to to make that happen. But uh, I'm just you know proud of the girls. Uh, we had a game plan. Uh, they executed the game plan uh, as best they could. Um, uh, I mean, Kemper Kemper is good. Kemper's really good. Andrew is a great coach. They're, they're a great staff. A class act. Um, I wish I could remember number two's name. That's all we always talked about was number two. She's Mayhall. Mayhall. There you go. Um, I told her after the game, you know, it was fun, really fun watching her on tape. Didn't see her much live, but um, you know, with all that being said, I thought our girls did a really nice job of stepping up and um, you know, executing. It was a, it was a total team effort, a total team effort tonight, and uh, again, just very very proud of the outcome. Uh, the third quarter was really the make or break for you, uh, for your team. Uh, it really looked like it was a completely different team from the first half to the third quarter. What happened in the huddle there uh, or at the break in the locker room? Oh, I mean, we just talked about we have three keys every game. Um, and we didn't personally, as, as a, I guess the two of us, Coach Humphrey and myself, we didn't feel like we were executing um, what we needed to. And the kids kind of took that personal. and. And we're able to go out and, and, and do those things that we that we did. You know, I thought we uh, we got back in transition a lot better. Um, I thought our rebounding was probably as good as it's been all year. Um, and then we took care of the ball, um, and those are three things that, that we have to do. Um, you know, game in and game out, and that was I think that's what we saw in the second half. Elizabeth Jacobson had 28 for you tonight. Leah Humphrey had 16. Just talk about those two. It really felt like they were in control all night. Yeah, they they both. I mean, they're both. 
outstanding players. Aaliyah's had a great career. Elizabeth, um, you know, is is her, her height definitely helped, but she's athletic enough. You know, and I think, you know, those two, yeah, those two played played really well. I also thought Kinsley Ferguson had a really nice game. I mean, she came off the bench with 11, hit some big shots, um, played some good defense. I thought, you know, Delaney Ambrose, Carla Nelson, uh, you know, I think a couple of girls that, that really don't get as much um, maybe publicity or, or, or print as, as Tyler Hall and, and Haley Stengel, both for, you know, guarding um, number two. Uh, you know, like they did. So um, it was a it was a total team effort. Uh, you know, a lot of adversity over the last couple of days with snow, and then today we didn't have school. So um, just very proud of them overall, and, and uh, excited excited for them personally. I have to ask, you guys got beat by Trainer uh, by 34 points just 10 days ago. Um, and since then, you've been fantastic. Was that kind of a wake up call, or was it just one of those forget it and move on? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was kind of a combination of both, um, and. You know, I we'll just we'll just say that um, we had a different game plan against Trainer um, than than we normally would have, and uh, you know, and hats off to them. They shot lights out, and uh, you know, really kind of took it to us. So um, we told the girls that there was no surprise. They knew what they were doing, um, but it was a good learning experience for teams that are going to play fast and aggressive to try some new things that you don't normally get to see in practice. You can see us against the state rated team. Um, so that's kind of what we're happy with. Talk about, uh, you guys are moving on now. You get Pocahontas area next in the regional final. Just give me your uh, your thoughts and your goals moving forward. Oh, they, they win? Um, what was the score? 50 to 43. Oh, okay. I have no idea. <laughs> so I guess we're playing Pocahontas. Um, I mean, they're good. You know, they're they're a state-rated team as well. Um, we've got a little bit of tape on them. We'll have to watch them. I I would think, you know, they're going to try to double-team Elizabeth. Um, the nice thing about double-teaming Elizabeth is that it takes away two girls, makes it four on three. So we're definitely going to have to have other girls step up. We're going to have to have a total team effort like we did tonight and give us a chance. Um, it's on a neutral court, you know, up in Carroll. So a um, little bit of a, a travel for us. But... Um, you know, we're excited to be in this position. We want to go one game at a time. Uh, you know, it's kind of been our motto. You know, what they did last year, we haven't, honest to God, we haven't even talked about. So, um, I think it's, I think it's helped us get to this point. Hopefully, we can finish the job. All right, coach. Congrats on the win. Thanks for the time. Thank you, sir.